read our text of scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, but I want to read it to you in the NIV. It pretty much says the same thing. It says, You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Amen? And, and just for, for a little while today, I want to talk with you from this, this subject. Uh, y'all, do y'all remember, remember the real ice man? Y'all remember the real ice man? Y'all, and George Gervin. I know everybody went right to George Gervin. Y'all remember who the real ice man was? Those that grew up in the 60s and 70s. Y'all remember? Hey Amen. Jerry Butler. Yeah, he was the original ice man. Amen. He had a song, amen, that I just loved that song back in those days. It was called Only the Strong Survive. Y'all remember that song? Yeah. Only the strong survive. Only the strong survive. Hey, you got to be strong. You got to hold on. You got to be a man. You got to take a stand. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Amen. So that's what I want to preach to you about today. Only the strong survive. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we're so grateful now. and We thank you for all you've done and all that you do in our lives, oh God. And Lord, now we ask that you help us to light up this text of Scripture here where the great Apostle Paul is talking to his, his son in the ministry, Timothy, telling with grace, just be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. If you don't do anything else, you got to be strong. You got to take a stand, Timothy, no matter what. And we're grateful for that. So, Holy Spirit, we ask that you have your way in this place today. Teach, lead, guide, and direct. Preach, O oh God, what thus says the Lord. And we're grateful for that. Now, God, hide me now behind thy cross, that they may see Jesus and glorify you, O oh God, who sits in heaven. It is in Jesus' precious name we do pray and give you thanks. Amen, amen, amen. amen. and amen. Only the strong survive. Amen. I know that's kind of a harsh, maybe harsh saying, and, but let's what? It's real. It's, it's the word of God. That's what Paul is telling Timothy here in this text of Scripture. And then if you look on down, when you get home, you can read the whole text here, there's a reason why Paul is telling him that, especially for the early churches, especially even for new churches, amen, uh, even for those that have been around only 12, 13 years, we got you, you got to be strong. You, you, you got to take a stand on certain issues. Can I get a witness here? Amen. amen. Every, we can't just live willy-nilly. Every little thing can't just go. Can I get a witness here? Amen. We have to take a stand. And that's what he was trying to share with Paul, with, with Timothy rather. And the apostle Paul, he was urging Timothy, he said, to, to persevere. And it's the same way in our lives. In order for us to persevere with all diligence, we got to be like soldiers. We got to be like combatants. We got to be husbandmen, right? And as we know now, Timothy was like a son to Paul. Amen. And, and not only did he direct him in his church activities, but he also got personally involved with Timothy on a personal note. Amen. And so being a, a community, being a community of faith, amen, we have to be involved with each other, not only just at church, but also in our personal lives as well. And, 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 and I'm okay. You know, I'm, I'm okay. I don't, matter of fact, I don't want to know everything about you. Amen. Thank God. Keep it to yourself. Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I don't want to know everything about that. But, but, but what I can help you with, I want to know. If you're in the hospital, I want to know. Amen. And, and that's, as, as a matter of fact, as a pastor, and as pastors, God give us charge to pray for you. You're going to get a witness here. And, I, and I'm, I'm telling you, this is what... Paul was trying to urge Timothy about. He said, look, only the strong survive. Amen. And, and this is how we gather our strength. Amen. By praying and helping one another as a community of faith. 
Now, 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 if you pray in my demise, don't you ever pray for me. Right. If you want to uh, choke him, Lord, now you, you, you take it out your mouth. Don't, don't ever pray for me. Can I get a witness? I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. But if you love me and you care about me, pray for me. The Apostle Paul wanted Timothy to be strong in the grace that God gives him. Many times, my brothers and sisters, we don't see the way God does things within our lives and we can't seem to find the way out of our circumstance or our problem. Amen, somebody. Amen. But let me tell you what. God supplies every need in our lives, not just financial, but spiritual. That's right. And you have to allow him into your life. Yes. Philippians 4 and 19 says that, and my God shall supply all your needs according to the riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. And if you have a need, let me tell you, you need to take it to Christ. Amen. You're going to get a witness here. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes it ain't always good to go to the bank looking for stuff. It, it ain't always good to go to friends looking for stuff. But you need to go to God first right. and let him direct your path. Now, the path he give you might be back to somebody. It might be to a bank. But don't start backwards with God. Amen. Go to him first. Yeah. And so I believe that that is what the Apostle Paul meant telling Timothy to be strong in the grace of Christ Jesus. It's up to us if we want to. The strength of God within our lives. You got a choice. You can, you can block him out or you can let him in. Now, now, that's how we overcome things but that we go through. We got to go through it with God on our side. Can I get a witness here? I, I'd rather have him with me than against me. Amen, somebody. And as our trials increase, and let me tell you, they just going to increase. Amen. Things, things, things. The Bible doesn't support things getting better. Any Bible readers in here? A amen. We can make some heaven here on earth, don't get me wrong, but, but the Bible doesn't support it. But it says that things going to wax worse and, and worse. worse in our society. So, so let me tell you, let me tell you, we, what we see going on now, let me tell you, just magnify that. <laughs> magnify that by 10. You're going to get a witness here. And I don't know about you. I can't wait to get to church sometimes. I, I can't wait to get off from work from some of the stuff we are. Amen. Uh, I, I just love Minister Gates' spirit at work. Boy, he, he get cussed out three or four times a day. Amen. But right after work, he's still Minister Gates. Still trying to encourage them cursors. Amen, somebody. Things don't get better. But we can, we can, we can be the light of the world. We can be the salt. Amen. We can be that if we can't be nothing else. Amen. Amen. And I'm, I'm glad about that. So our trials are going to increase. And we need to grow stronger in, in that which is good. Our faith needs to be stronger. Our resolution needs to be stronger. Our love for God needs to, and Jesus and the Holy Ghost, it all needs to be stronger. Amen. And the only way it's going to grow my brothers and sisters, you're going to have to learn the word of God when you need to pull from that source. You're going to get a witness here. I, I told them at Bible study, when stuff hits you, you ain't going to have time to go look for your Bible. Let me go find my Bible and see, what, see how I need to handle that. No, you just got slapped. What you going to do now? The, the, the devil just popped you side your head. You going to go and pull up a reference and check it? You better know what you're going to do right now. And the only way you're going gonna to get to know that, can I get a witness here? You got to have some of this word in you. Amen. If it ain't nothing but the simple thing, the 23rd song. It, amen. Just learn you one. Get you a scripture and learn it. Amen. And draw from it. Can I get a witness here? If you don't do nothing else, you need to learn at least one scripture in your life. Yeah. Amen. Be able to memorize it. Amen. Because I'm telling you, one of these old days when you get popped side your head, you need to be able to regurgitate that. Can I get a witness here? And to, to survive is, 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 in this life, 
uh, to, to survive through this life, uh, we got we to gotta go through uh, this life. I often hear people talking about, well, I'm going through what? What are you going through? Amen. What are you doing about it? Amen. As a matter of fact, we were talking Wednesday night, those bewares and woes of the Bible. You need to know that when God gives you a beware and a woe, he also gives you the answer. That's right. Those are God posts. Amen. As a matter of fact, he even, talk, he even talks about if you got slapped, what to do. <laughs> now, I can't see too many of y'all turning the other cheek out there. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Richard. <laughs> Now I heard somebody I heard somebody asking for patience this morning. Oh, good God Almighty. You might get slapped before the week's over with. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Because only the strong survive. Only the strong survive. We uh, some people look at that as being weak. No, that's the strength, baby. Amen. We 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 stay strong when our faith in Jesus is fit. Jesus said in Luke 9 and 62, said that no man putting his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. And, and I ask you a question this morning. Are you fit for the fight? Uh, are you fit for the long haul? Are you fit for the fight? God wants to raise a people who are solid and on fire for him and not to give in to the enemy's tactics. Amen. You got to know who the enemy is. You got to know how he works. Amen. We're we too busy attacking one another, and we need to understand who the enemy is. That's right. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm reminded what Jesus, taught when he was talking to Peter, he said, get thee behind me, Satan. Right. Amen. He wasn't trying to attack Peter. He was attacking that enemy. Amen. And you need to understand that. If you don't understand that, you need to learn it. Can I get, can I get a witness? We're too busy. We're too busy laying blame on things that the enemies are doing. And then, right. then you know, some things that, that Satan ain't doing, you just giving them all the credit. Oh, Satan did this. Oh, Satan did. He's he looking back. Oh, look at my child. But, but what God is doing for you, you ain't recognizing that. We're we too busy watching Satan. Satan this and Satan that. Satan is the devil. He ain't your friend. Look at the witness. Don't assign stuff to him that he didn't even do. You're giving him credit. Boy, he's just sitting there cheesing. <laughs> Look at the witness here. And we need to understand that, my brothers and sisters. We've got to be strong like a good soldier. And if you go back and read this chapter, later in, in this chapter, Paul tells Timothy about standing strong like a good soldier. A good soldier will endure through the battle. Not only endure, but they be prepared. A good soldier is equipped. They be ready for anything that may come their way. You know why? Because they are ready. They are fit. They are read up. They are trained up over and over. We see, we get bored too quick. Over and read the twenty-third psalm. You know, I, I was thinking about Michael Jordan as I was doing this, and I heard him say one time. Just to hit one free throw, he shot a thousand. Just to get one free throw, amen, somebody, he had to shoot a thousand of them. And sometimes it takes that in our lives as Christians. Amen, because I'm telling you something. If you don't learn the lessons, you're going to see it over and over again. That's right. No doubt. I know I'm right. You ain't got to write me no thesis about it. I've been through it. Until you get it right with God, you're going to see it over and over again. Many times, my brothers and sisters, we're just not ready and we fall short. But God has given us the opportunity to stand firm for him. Ephesians 6 and 10 tells us, it says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And if you ain't got nothing else to tell people, tell them what does say the Lord. Mm. Not your opinion. Your opinion means nothing That's right. when it comes down to the word of God. Amen. Everybody got an opinion. I got one. Amen. But when it comes down to the word of God, these are commandments yes. and not suggestions. 
Amen. Because I'm telling you here today, only the strong survive. Always remember to focus on God, his might and his calling on your life. Too many people are spending too much time watching for the devil, giving him too much credit, and not enough time serving God. I want to keep my eyes on the prize like Paul said. Hey, what's the prize? <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> only, only, surprise, only prize that the devil is going to give you is more trouble right. and more hardship. Can I get a witness here? God's calling is the relationship that he has with you and you with him. This is how we stay strong. Amen? Amen. And, and so I want to I share a couple of things with you from this acronym, just, just talking about being strong. Amen? Just starting with the S, and then I'm done. Amen? Amen. Amen. I know y'all are looking at me real crazy out there. <laughs> yes, the S in strong. You got to get serious about God. Amen. Amen. God, 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 you can't pick him up and put him down when you want to. No. Being serious is when you begin to commit more to him. And in our personal lives and in the things we do, all of a sudden he becomes all. And our fleshly desires become nothing. John 3 and 30 states that he must increase, but I must decrease. Can I get a witness here? I, irregardless of what I want, irregardless of what my flesh wants, I got to decrease and let him increase in my life. And our commitment level to him becomes everything. We must begin taking the things of God most serious because we are only here for a short time in our lives. Can I get a witness here? The, the Bible only promises us 70 years and then by, by, by good health you might get 80. Mother, I don't know what you're eating back there, but I want some of what you're eating. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. I'm glad about that. And, and we got to make the most of our relationships. And, and, and as my wife would, would tell you and always say, there are no do-overs in life. What you live in now is what you got. And you better make the best of it. You're going to get a witness here. You can't go back and redo it. Uh, no matter how many times I run up to Alabama, I can't change nothing that happened in my past. I can only look to my future and understand the past. Amen. God, God, nowhere in the Bible it tells us to go back and pick up the past. Amen. Matter of fact, it told us in Luke 9 and 6 that no man with his hand to the plow and if he's looking back, say he ain't fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. You ain't got no business in there. Right. Can I get a witness here? <laughs> so don't, don't let the opposition take you down. The world may, be, may try to take your joy away, but when you, you're determined in your heart, God will see you through. Yeah. But you got to be determined. Yes, that's right. And then the T in strong to tell, we got to tell others about God. You and I, we will get stronger and more mature in Christ when we start sharing the God we serve with others. It becomes a habitual lifestyle and people will begin to see what you really are all about. If you're fickle, they're going to pick it up. If you're real, they're going to pick it up. You're going to get a witness here. And the lesson this morning said, let your light shine. Let it shine. You're going to get a witness here. The people will know. People will know. Amen. I, uh, so, Sister Ashley was telling us about her little venture over there in, in Spain. Said One lady was one, one of the kids. I don't know kid. She said they were just cussing. Just cussing. They looked at her and said, you don't cuss, do you? <laughs> she, she said, no. She let her light shine is all I'm saying. That's what they saw. That's what they saw. Not the mere fact she was. They saw something different about her. And what do, what do, uh, what do people see in you? But when you leave the church, you got that cuss look on your face. Any cusses in here? Y'all know me. I'm going to just ask. Any used to be cussers in you? Yeah, yeah. Like a like a sailor. Yeah, yeah. Let this just make it just be real. All y'all good at two shoes out there. Amen. Yeah, I, I some I should have saw everybody hand go up on that. Right. 
Deacon S. Smith, she said, hey, Deacon, your, your wife doing like this. Let me get it up quick and get it down. But God has changed your heart. Let your light shine so people can see it. Jesus told us, he said, go out into the, all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. How can you change somebody when you need to be changed yourself? Amen. It won't happen. Next time you're feeling weak, my brothers and sisters, let me give you a good formula. Go out and tell somebody about Jesus and watch the power of God move through you. Just tell them. Just tell them. You're feeling down and out, tell somebody about Jesus. And watch the Holy Ghost pick you up. Can I get a witness here? And then the hour and strong. You got to re rely on God in our difficulties. In everything we do, God is there for us. You got to remember that. James 1 and 2 says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, Richard. That's what the word says. It produces patience. You're going to get a witness here. This is where we get built up in our lives when things around us are going wrong. The whole world is going wrong. It really attacks you personally. We got to learn, my brothers and sisters, to rely on God like never before. Amen, somebody. When, when, when they say go when, when the devil says go left, you better go right. You, you better take a stand like, 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 like the ice man said. You got to take a stand. You got to be a man or a woman. You got to take a stand on mess. Can I get a witness here? Just going alone to get along mess, that ain't got nothing to do with Jack. <laughs> That's right. Amen, somebody. Amen. You got to take a stand. Yes. This is how we build our lives. And it's, it's important to rely on God, because he's the one who strengthens our faith. Yes. Just stay close to him. Yes. And he will, he will be there to pick you up yes. every time you fall down. Yes. He'll be right there. Now, 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 you might call me. You might be trying to find me. And let me tell you something. Uh, I, I told y'all, if I don't recognize your phone number on my phone, I ain't answering in the phone. Hey, hey man, I, I, I'm, I'm just not one of them pick it up fast guys. Amen. <laughs> Ring, hello. No, no. Burton don't operate like that. Might be one of them uh, Steve Harvey uh, prank calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, Tommy got a way of getting even preachers get to cussing. <laughs> Anybody ever heard that? We hear them every morning. You hear them? He just had them deacons and mothers just cussing. <laughs> Not black and black, black, I told you. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he got them. He get them. And, and you know, it's so ironic that people pick at the church the way they do. Amen. Because they understand. Let me tell you. And, and, some, and sometimes we, we got some weak links in the church. Amen. There are some weak links, and the devil knows exactly who they are. Going to get a witness here. And he'll come at you with both barrels. But just stay close to God. Even when we make mistakes. Even when we call, guess what? God is still there to help you through the problem. And then, oh, be open to God's ways. When we understand that God could use us or move through anything, then we will recognize the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Can I get a witness here? And it's very important that we keep our hearts open to God's instruction. When God speaks, we need to move. Can I get a witness here? Amen. How do we do that? We do it through his counsel. Amen. Ephesians 1 and 9 says, Having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he proposed in himself. Amen. Can I get a witness here? So we got to be open to God's word. And then in the end, we got to look at the next level. Amen. Taking things to the next level is our, in our lives is another element that he will help us to get strong in. What is the next level for you? That, that's what you got to answer for yourself. What are you striving for? What, 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 are you, what are you here to do? What are you, 
What are you, what are you here to do in your life? Yeah. Are you just going to live willy-nilly the rest of your life? No direction? What, what's your next level? What's your next level? What's your plan? What, and, and I'm talking about with God on your side. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, somebody's next level might be a dope dealer. No, I ain't talking about that. <laughs> what's your next level? Well, I'm going to go rob Bank of America. <laughs> that is not a next level. That, as a matter of fact, for a Christian, that's a step back. You're going to get a witness here. What's your next level? God has given us the ability to achieve greater works for him. The potential to become ministers, doctors, lawyers, businessmen, and businesswomen, a good husband, a good wife. It's out there. Anything you want, what you want in life, God got it. But let me tell you something. It takes going to another level. You, you can't keep doing the same old thing expecting a different result. If it didn't work for you last year, it ain't going to work for you this year. <laughs> you you got you to gotta tweak. You need to tweak your life. You need to change something in your life in order to go to the next level. Now, you know, listen, you might be on the right path. Y'all hear me? You might be on the right path, but you might need to take something in your life from this side and move it to this side. Amen. You're going to get a witness here. Yes. I'm just talking just that simple. The flow of what you're doing might need to be changed. Your mindset might need to be changed. You're going to get a witness here. Your understanding of God might need to change if you're going to go to the next level. You're going to get a witness here. We got to deny self, selfish motives. We got to be disciplined in our minds and, and, and spirit and to press forward into the things of God. Get involved with what God has for you. And then get more involved. Don't stop there. I, I, I can remember when I, when, we really, when I really got back into the church at Shiloh. Amen. I started teaching the babies. You know, well, first of all, God recognized I was there for the right reason and the right motive. I started working with the, with the babies. And Mother Johnson saw the potential. I started working with the older kids and then the teenagers, and then the adults, and then I moved, graduated into the men. God saw that. I became a deacon over there, and, and God saw that. I, and I, I thank God uh, we realized our first million dollars while we were there, amen, of uh, coming into the church, and the church grew, amen, because people were disciplined. The deacons, Deacon Young, and we were dis disciplined in our efforts. We were purposeful in our efforts. In reaching out to the membership, we were doing what thus says the Lord. We wasn't taking any shortcuts. We were, people were giving and people were giving back. Gonna get a witness. And God elevated me from there. He called me to preach, and here I am today. And so all I'm saying to get to the next level, you gotta level up. Amen. Young folks understand that. Yeah. You gotta level up. Amen. Okay, I, I, I'm peaked out here. See, when you get to a point in your life and you're getting peaked out, and all of a sudden you you ain't got bored with what you're doing for God, mm -hmm. it's time to level up. Right. It, it's time to get out of your comfort zone. Right. You ain't got too comfortable now. You're too comfortable being a deacon. You're too comfortable being a minister. You're too comfortable maybe even being a pastor. You need to level up. Where do you go from there? You're going to get a witness. I'm, I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. You got to level up. You're going to get a witness here. And then the last thing I want to share with you, G, you got to go after the, the prize and pursue it. Once God reveals his will in your life, the strength will be upon you to pursue it. Now, now, now y'all heard what I said? Now, God ain't going to make you do nothing, but he will give you the strength to pursue it. Once you get a taste of God, you can't ever go back. Amen. You're going to get a witness here. Yeah. The prize is not just heaven. <laughs> Amen. Now, hear me. But it's the high calling in Christ Jesus that motivates us. Now, now, if all your prize 
Oh, you think your prize only is just heaven? Guess what? That means you waiting to die. But I don't know about you. I want to be some good, right? I can make me some heaven right here on earth. I ain't got to wait till I check out of here. Can I get a witness to get some heaven? I can get some heaven right now. Sitting around, well, I, I, I'm gonna get me. I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for him to call me. Call you where? Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? In order to get to heaven, you gotta give up this life. <laughs> Apostle Paul said in Philippians three and fourteen. This is what he said. He said, "I press, uh huh, toward the goal." For the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. I'm trying to level up, y'all. And, and that's why I want to take us, Spirit of Works. I want to level us up. Can I get a witness here? We, we've been here, amen, in this old building now for 13 long years. Amen. This is a 1941 building. And I believe my God want me to level up. And, and I know my next level, I got to take it to another level. We, we got to level up. Got to level up. If I have to go by myself, I'm going. And I'm just telling you, you need to come go with me. You're going to get a witness here. I'm about done. But, um, thank y'all for hanging in there with me. But I want to give you this quote. Uh, this is uh, from from William James, his name was William James, he was a, a United States psychologist. Listen to what he said, just a few things about being strong. A chain, listen to me, is no stronger than its weakest link. And life, after all, is a chain. It's a chain. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And so my brothers and sisters, we got to be strong in this age. Can I get a witness here? And the people of a holy God, we must be strong. We're living in a time, yeah, where the battle for your soul is on. <laughs> the things of this world, the desires of the flesh, and the enemy of our soul wants to get a piece of you. <laughs> Can I get a witness here? But I heard, I heard Jesus said in Revelations 22 and 12, and behold, I am coming quickly, and my word is with me to give you according to his work. Can I get a witness here? Now you may or may not know Jesus, but I pray that God will reveal himself to you like never before. Yeah. Can I get a witness? And I'm reminded in 2 Timothy 2 and 1, uh -huh. what Paul told Timothy. He said, you, therefore my son uh -huh. and my daughter, I'm not leaving you out. That's not what Paul intended. Can I get a witness here? He said, you, therefore my son or my daughter, uh -huh. listen to me. You got to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. That's what, I, that's what I come to tell you today. That's what, I, that's what I want you to know, my brothers and sisters. And listen, only the strong survive. I ain't talking about weightlifting, so don't, don't go to no gym today and start lifting weights. I, I want you to go to the Word of God and start lifting your mind. Amen. Start picking up uh, some word like this and Build that spiritual muscle that's in your head. Amen. Because when you, that, that education, uh, what you said this morning, you can't take that away from nobody. You know what you know. Amen, somebody. And I'm, I want you to know, I, I'm like Iceman. Only strong survive. Hey, amen. You, you got you to gotta, you gotta take a chance. You, 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 you got to be a man and a woman among men and women. You got to separate yourself from the norm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, 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 my, my girl, my, yeah, yeah, my boy might be doing, yeah, uh, yeah, come go with us. Nah, 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 nah I can't, can't go to the hoochie-coochie bar anymore. 
I, I got to separate myself. Uh, yeah, you, you don't have to defriend them. Right. Matter of fact, you want to be a good friend, you tell them. No, God has called me out of that. Come go with me. You lead and stop letting your friends lead you by the nose with their fingers. That's what they're doing. Amen. You take the lead. You be the leader. Amen. You set the tone. You tone the relationship. Amen. You got to be strong. Only because only the strong going to survive. Amen. Because your friends get you caught up all down in the club. And after a while, you, you're smoking, you're drinking. And after a while, that ain't strong enough. You start a pass. And then when that ain't strong enough, you start shooting. Guess what? And they're going to left you in there. They done left you in there. They ain't turn you loose. Because you ain't got too bad for them. <laughs> that's right, that's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You, know, you know, the world don't think much of us as Christians anyway. They think we weak. Mm -hmm. Amen. But only the strong survive. That's not a weakness. Knowing the word of God, serving God is not a weakness. Being meek is not a weakness. It's a strength. It's a strength. You just got to be brave enough to stand on it. Now, if you don't have the guts for the fight, you're going to get knocked out. You don't know how to bob and weave? You're going to take one on the chin. And it's going to knock you out. And then if, even if you get hit and get knocked down, get out! They roll around, oh, I got hit. <laughs> I don't want to get hit no more. Get up! Learn how to defend yourself. Bob and weave. Take that word. Put on the whole armor of God. Now, now one place that you don't have covered is your back. But guess who got your back? God does. And what does that tell you? You can't run either. What, what you said, Sister Chase? I can't run after him, so I might have to shoot. And let me tell you. Yeah, there you go. Amen. Somebody going to squeeze one off on you. You better hope God is back there. Amen to protect you. Don't run. You got to face it. You got to face your adversary. You got to face your problem. Amen. It's, it's, it's sort of like me. I know I'm rambling. It's sort of like me I used to be when the bills would come in the mail at home. I, was, I ain't looking at them. I ain't looking at them. Like that's going to change the numbers. <laughs> like osmosis, the bill was going to disappear. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But God is good. Amen? Amen. Amen. The doors of the church is open.